Hello and welcome to my video about installing the latest version of Zencart, Zencart 1.5. So uh, we're starting here by going to the Zencart home page and we hit the download button for downloading Zencart 1.50 and it takes us to SourceForge and it tells us that our thing will begin right away. Yep, and here we are so we're going to go ahead and save this file and I think uh, I want to save this in downloads where I have my downloads already there we go and I know I got a Zen cart download already and I may even have this one so it'll ask me if I want to replace it yes I do want to replace it in case they wrote something new for the last couple of days who knows so anyway uh, now my Zen cart is there and all I've got to do is double click that and extract it and it's extracting it over to the other side of my screen there and uh, I will pause this and come back to the FTP part okay once you have your program uh, downloaded and extracted uh, what you need for that is you need a uh, zip type uh, program you can find them free on the internet uh, be very careful if you're downloading free zip type programs off the internet. The reason being, uh, they there are a couple that want to put uh, like navigation bars and stuff like that on there. And that can be a little tricky. And anyway, uh, this isn't about uh, zipping and unzipping files, so you're just going to need to figure that one out on your own as far as zipping. So the next thing we get to is uh, the FTP. Now I use uh, FileZilla. It's a great free FTP program. I highly recommend it. And then from there you FTP to your server. And I have a fairly new and clean GoDaddy server here. It comes with the standard crap that they put in your GoDaddy server, which I'm going to just leave alone. And then on my side of the program, we have uh, going to go to the download file where I've downloaded this and extracted it. I have a downloads directory and as you can see I've downloaded a lot of programming and I'm going to go to Zencart and I'm going to find the 1.5 uh, in here. Here it is, 1.5 full release and I'll open that and it gives you a whole bunch of files within the folder it unzipped which is 1.5 uh, version 1.5.0 full release so now there's thousands of files in here so I'm gonna pause this as I upload so you don't have to get bored with that and I will come back as soon as it's uploaded to continue okay I have uh, uploaded Zencart through uh, the FTP program all of the files are in place now and if I refresh this uh, it tells me queue empty so if I refresh then uh, all of my uh, directories and files are over there uh, so that's good we're done with that and I've taken the liberty of going to the website that I'm installing this on and I see hello thank you for loading Zencart you're seeing this page for one or more reasons blah 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 that tells me that Zencart is here so now from here I just click this to begin the installation and uh, then I will go ahead and follow through the pages of this and continue through and I have read that and there's the licensing there and then design for online merchants uh, this is the first time I've done this so this is uh, I've read and agree okay I've got to get through that and it tells me that everything is good so I will hit install and then I put in the information for my database which unfortunately I have to black this part of it out but you can figure it out your database username goes here your host information and if you're on GoDaddy you're going to need a long string if you're not on GoDaddy local host may work and then your database password so I will get right back as soon as I put those in and hit that button Okay, having successfully put in all of the information about the database, uh, it carried me forward to another screen and then 
ultimately to this screen. Uh, the information I'm going to put in on this is private to the customer that I'm installing this for. So once again, I will fill this out and then when I have hit store, save store settings, I will come back. Okay, we've gone through that screen. I've pressed the button and it's brought me to administrator username, temporary password, confirm temporary password, administrator email. So I will fill all of that in and get right back once I've pressed this Save Admin button. Okay, I have pressed the Save Admin button and uh, now it tells me, just like it used to in 1.39, for security reasons you need to rename your admin folder to a name likely, less likely to be guessed, blah blah. There is a fact on renaming your admin folder. Now, I would highly recommend that you would read this fact on uh, frequently asked questions on renaming the admin folder because there's some uh, steps that you need to take. Uh, if it's like uh, 1.39, you have to rename and edit a file. So uh, I'm going to read through this uh, in advance. I'm doing this live in real time. so. Uh, I don't want to hold you up on that, so I'll go ahead and read it and see if there's any high points I need to hit. Okay, this is now telling me that I need to rename the admin folder, but in 1.5 apparently I do not need to edit the configure PHP file. If you're not using 1.5 and you're using 1.39, please look through my tutorials for uh, installing 1.39 and it will show you how to rename this configuration file. Uh, since this file needs to be renamed on the server, I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm going to go through the steps that I need to to rename that, and then we'll uh, get right back to this. Okay, it occurs to me that I can show you uh, what you need to rename, and it's right here. So you just right-click on that, and you click Rename. And where it says Admin, you just name it something else. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, and I will get right back to you. Okay, I have uh, gone ahead and renamed my admin file and I've tried to uh, go to it and it says warning you cannot access this admin until you have deleted the Zencart install folder, uh, which is very important. I forgot to mention that so uh, once I go back to the FTP and delete that folder, it's called uh, ZC install or something like that, but I've already renamed my other folder so I don't want to show the FTP, uh, but I will touch on that in a second. Okay, once you've removed that uh, temporary folder which is named ZC, then you can go from there and log in using your temporary uh, password and information. And then of course it tells you that you need to choose a new password. I've taken the user admin name, but this is going to be populated. Uh, I've taken this out for the video. So go ahead and put your new password in, confirm the password, hit submit, and I will meet you back here as soon as I've done that. So this is your new Zencart version 1.5, uh, freshly installed. Uh, really wasn't all that difficult or that different than installing the other. So I'm going to click on the online catalog and see what the new face of Zencart looks like. It looks exactly like the old face of Zencart looked like. So uh, we'll figure out what's new in Zencart 1.5, but this is how you install Zencart 1.5. Basically you just need uh, a unzip program to unzip the files. You need FTP to upload the files. Uh, you need a server that will... Uh, I, I found this out by trying to upload this for another client. The server has to be uh, you know, a certain level of PHP, etc., etc. Uh, so if you're using one of the larger companies and you're getting a, a fairly new server, uh, everything should be fine. Uh, sure to catch, uh, look down below in the comments down below, and I will have a link to uh, where you can find this tutorial and other Zencart tutorials on my site. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, and if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't write to me, comment, uh, do whatever. Uh, helps me out on YouTube a little bit. Not that I make any money there, but it's uh, it's kind of fun doing these tutorials, and uh, it, it's 
good to know that I'm helping people. So if I've helped you with something, uh, please let me know. Thanks.